Hi, I'm Chris from Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to share with you these two woodland animal quilts that I made recently. This is my woodland animal themed baby quilt and it has two featured large embroidered animals. One is on the front and a surprise second one is on the back. The fabrics I used for these quilts came from Joanne Fabrics and are a woodland animal theme named Woodland Animals Doing Things. Along with the two cotton fabrics from this line, I partnered it with a teal flannel that is around the blocks and this coral minky that I used on the back. Yes, I did mix both cotton and flannel on this quilt top. I love to do this as there is nothing wrong with mixing the different fabrics. Especially for a baby quilt, I like the softness that the flannel adds to the quilt top. To make this quilt, I tried out a pattern in this book, Fast and Fun 3 Yard Quilts by Donna Robertson. I recently purchased this book from a quilt shop and thought one of these designs would be perfect for a baby quilt. Oh, and the fast is not just a saying. This quilt was very fast to put together. This quilt looks complicated, but it's actually made from square blocks that are rotated back and forth, and this gives it the more complicated look. The book explains how to make these blocks quickly by strip piecing them together and then cutting them apart, which makes it very fast to create all of the blocks you need. This quilt also has three borders. One is in the teal, and then one in the animal fabric, and one in the moon's fabric. Each quilt in this book takes three one yard cuts of fabric for the quilt top. Then you need three yards of fabric for the backing. The finished quilt sizes vary but are around 45 by 60 which is a nice lap size quilt. The author does explain how to make the quilts larger if you would like to make a twin, queen, or king size. The author Donna has a whole line of books on three yard quilts with so many different designs. I couldn't believe how many that they had and if you'd like to see these books, please check the link in the description of the video below and you'll find links to these books. Since I wanted a baby quilt, I decided to leave off some of the blocks. I left off eight blocks, so one column and one row. So that made my quilt three blocks wide by four blocks high. This size is a lot better for a baby quilt. So that's where the second quilt came from. This quilt is made of the leftover eight blocks, plus I was able to get one extra block from some of the leftover fabric to make the ninth block. So this quilt is three by three blocks high and wide. I was also able to use some of the extra fabrics to create the borders on this quilt. And I ended up putting some teal borders on the side and then a border with the moon's fabric all the way around the quilt and then a border with the animals fabric on the top and the bottom. This one doesn't have the embroidered animals but it's still a very cute baby quilt. You may be wondering about these cute animal appliques. I made these with my embroidery machine with designs by Creative Kiwi. These designs were stitched in the hoop separately from the quilt. Then I applique the animals to the front and the back of the quilt. I am a big fan of Creative Kiwi and their designs. If you have an embroidery machine, be sure to visit our page in the description for links to their site. They have many fun designs. Instead of using the traditional backing and binding for these quilts, I used Minky on the back. The Minky was cut about 5 inches larger than the size of the quilt top all the way around. I centered the quilt top on the minky and then quilted the layers together. I also decided against using a batting layer on these quilts to keep them lighter. The minky is already kind of heavy so batting isn't as necessary. If I was going to use a batting layer I would have used a layer of flannel in a neutral color. Yes, you can also use flannel for batting in your quilts. The quilts made with flannel are still somewhat warm, but they're thinner. For the quilting on both of the quilts, I used a variegated quilting thread. 
For this first one, I quilted lines in the middle of the teal. And then for the outer borders, I did put some straight lines through the outer borders from top to bottom and side to side on the quilt. For this second quilt, I decided to quilt some lines straight up and down, three through the center of the blocks. And then I quilted three lines through the blocks in the middle of each of the blocks, the blocks going up crosswise. After the quilting was completed, I then trimmed the minky all the way around to be five inches bigger than the actual size of the top. The corners were then sewn and trimmed so they would become a mitered corner. Then they were flipped right side out, which made the mitered corner, and it naturally brings the minky up so that it will cover the edge of the quilt. So it covers about one quarter inch of the quilt top with the minky, and then I zigzag stitched over the edge of the minky all the way around to tack it down. I don't have a tutorial right now on this method of binding. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to learn how to do this. I hope you enjoyed learning about these woodland animal baby quilts that I made. Like and share our videos, and if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. Help us by sharing our videos with your friends on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other quilting tutorials and projects. While you're there, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter so you won't miss out on all our new videos. Happy quilting!